Faster my Zachilia Falak and welcome to the film about the books that I read in April. There are only three this month because I got into a sort of reading slump. So I haven't really done very much. But we will get through this and hopefully next month will be better. So um, the first was Sorcerer to the Crown, which is a kind of fantasy story set in um, in England where there's magic. Um, something which doesn't seem to get mentioned very much in this book is that it's actually very funny, as well as beautiful. Um, it does talk about serious things like racism and sexism, but it is hilarious as well. So definitely people should read this book. If you think it sounds too serious, you are wrong. It is not. Um, so yeah, I did like this and it's unexpectedness. And then the next book that I read was An Ember in the Ashes, which is a kind of, um, oh, it's another fantasy, really, set in a world where there's a sort of dictatorial empire and an underground resistance to fight them. Um, this is Tahir's first book. But she is, well, she's got at least one more coming out in this story, which I'm definitely going to read. The thing with this book is it is very, very similar to Gates of Thread and Stone, which I didn't like. But I think this one is better, partly because it takes longer to cover the same ground. Um which sort of helps make it seem more I mean realistic isn't a word that you use for these kind of things but it seems more believable I think because she takes the time to build on what's happening and the problems that I had with Gates of Thread and Stone was that it wasn't really explained in some ways you didn't really believe because in that one the chief character seemed to sort of be incredibly naive and a bit stupid whereas in this one she might be a little naive but she does um I don't know, she seems to have a better grasp of the, you know, of circumstances and how the world isn't great, whereas in the other one she just seems very trusting. And Kai is her name in the other one, she, she does seem very, like, impossibly naive in a way, whereas Laia is much more aware of what's happening. Um, yes, so I I think that's um, part of it in a way, the characters are more believable as well as the story being spread out and given more detail. So I would definitely recommend that, whereas I would not recommend Gates of Thread and Stone. <coughs> and then the third book, which I finished last night, because I felt I had to finish it this month, was The Fisherman, which I was really excited to read this because I thought it sounded really good. Um, and then I only got however far into it and just lost interest and it sat around for weeks with me not reading it. And it's not just because I don't particularly like the style 
the genre really that this belongs in. Um, I mean, it was also, I had lots of life stuff going on last month, this month, whatever month, I don't even know what day it is anymore. Um, but yeah, it didn't help that this is quite a literary sort of work. It sounded like it would be much better. It sounds like it should be some kind of a fantasy type thing, but it's not particularly, it's definitely more literary. Um, so yeah, it might be worth a reread when I don't have as much going on, but I'm not exactly holding out hopes. Uh, and unfortunately, those three are it. So I think May should be better if we can get over the boring life things. Um, but I will see you in a few weeks and we will find out whether I was right or not. Uh, if you've got any comments, obviously Twitter is a good idea. Otherwise, I will see you in a month or so.